several number lines written here. Some of them are good, some of them are not so good. When you look at a number line, you should be able to count by a consistent amount. For example, you should be counting by ones. One, two, three, four, five. Twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Or even the odds. Three, five, seven, nine. You could count by fives, tens, so on and so forth, but the big thing is you have to count by a consistent number. If you look at this number, we start by counting by ones. Seven, eight. But then we count by twos. Ten. Then back to ones. Then back to twos so on and so forth. You need to make sure that you're counting by a consistent amount, so this one would not be an example of what we wanted. You also need to make sure that there's an equal distance between the number marks. So here I have consistent counting, two, three, four, five, six, we're counting by ones, but in this case we have little gaps and big gaps, so that's not what we want either. We need to make sure that when we have a number line that it extends forever in both directions. It's a line. There will always be numbers smaller and always numbers that are bigger. This one at first glance looks good. We're counting by fives. I can see patterns going from 8 to 13, back to 18 to 23. Notice the ones goes 8, 3, 8, 3. I'm pretty sure I have a good pattern going. It even looks like the distance is consistent. But my problem here is that there is no arrows. It's saying that numbers begin at 8 and end at 43. If we add the arrows, this one could be a pretty good example. This is an example of a number line that has all of our qualities. There's equal spacing, it's counting by threes consistently, and there's arrows on both sides. So this is what we would like when we're looking for our number lines. Let's look to see how we can find patterns on number lines. Sometimes you just need to guess and check. For example, in this one I know that there's a 35, and I know that there's a 60, but there's just a big old gap in between here, and I don't know what they're counting by. I could start by guessing counting by ones, but if I count by ones, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, I'm not even close to 60. I could try counting by tens, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85. That was too much. While ones was too little, tens was too much, I noticed that I'm counting with fives and zeros in the ones place value. Maybe I'm counting by fives. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Since it worked out perfectly where I went from my start to this end point, and each space was marked equally, I know that on this one, our rule is that we're counting by fives. Guessing and checking got me there just fine, it just took a little bit of persistence. You could also find two numbers that are right next to each other and figure out how much they're skip counting by. For example, right here I know the 91 and the 93 are right next to each other. I could figure out how much I need to add on to go from 91 to 93. Well, I start at 91, then I have 92, 93. I ended up adding on two more in order to get up to that 93. I would double check then as I go. 93, 94, 95. Yep, adding another two more got me up to 95. That means every time that I go forward, I'm going to end up adding on two. Conversely, any time that I go backwards, I'm going to end up subtracting two. When I go forward, I follow a pattern, and when I go backwards, I go the opposite of it. So let's look down here. You have a couple of different strategies that you could use. Can you figure out where 37 would be? Well, you need to use your thinking skills first. Automatically, you should be able to get rid of C and D. Those are between 46 and 55. You know that 37 is going to be smaller. So you would guess that 37 is going to be either A or B. You could have guessed and checked. You could have thought, well, 37 is pretty close to 40, maybe it's B. A better choice for this one would probably be to figure out how much you're skip counting by. If I'm trying to figure out two numbers that are next to each other, 40 and 43, I notice that both of them have a 4 in the tens place value. What's changing is that I'm going from 0 ones to 3 ones. That means that I added 3. When I'm going backwards then, I'm going to do the opposite of that, which is going to be to minus 3. If I do 40 minus 3, I indeed get 37 right here at letter B. Using this rule, can you figure out where 52 would be? Well, you know 52 is going to be between 46 and 55. Using guess and check, you could figure out 52 is probably closer to 55 than it is 50, 46. But we can always double check by adding or skip counting. 46 plus 3 is going to be 49. Plus another 3 is going to give me my 52. Indeed, D is where I'd find 52.
So now you know what a number line should look like, and you figured out two strategies. You can either guess and check if the numbers aren't next to each other, or you could find two numbers that are together and figure out how much you are adding or subtracting to get between them. You may go ahead and move on to the next activity in your center.